you um, this video is going to be about altered dominant chords. Very big topic uh, with a lot of guitar players. They ask me a lot of questions on this because a lot of the modern players, not so much the older guys, but the more modern players, more modern sounds, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, talk about outside playing. And, you know, there are different ideas on that. Like the simple form is like if you have a chord and you're playing. Uh, minor pentatonic for the E7 sharp 9, then you can raise that a half step. And it does create an outside type of shape or a half step below. As long as you land on one of the chordal tones that's in the key, you can do that. Uh, my approach will utilize some of that. You can do that. But I think the object of, of playing. Um, on altered dominance is also to create a lot of tension, a la Jimmy Herring, for instance, who uses a lot of chromatics and you know diminished type of scales to create that tension. And I think that's what I gravitate toward. And I believe that you know that's kind of the sounds that people are hearing, uh, the, and that's what they're questioning, like how to create these lines uh, through chord changes. Example: If you have sharp 5, sharp 9 type of chord and, and playing the half step it's okay but I tend to gravitate more toward symmetrical type of diminished scales whole step, half step example I think it gives you all those tensions and you can create more continuous lines. It doesn't sound like more of a pentatonic, but your lines can come from there. Example, if you're playing You can create lines between the diminished scale and the chromatic scale. You can do it continuously. chromatic scale with the whole step half step diminished you can create elongated lines through these type of altered dominant chords chromatics and the diminished to play through a whole array of altered dominant type of scales. So what I do right now, what I'll do is show you in the key of E the diminished scale that'll work over any of these altered dominants. If you're in E, you'll use the E. If you're in D, etc. So for E, we're going to start here, which is the A flat, and we're going to build a small little scale right from here, which is like as so. And we can also take it down. So that's your diminished scale used on sharp 9 or sharp 5, sharp 9 chords and uh, if you practice this with a little bit of chromaticism in between you'll see your playing jump tenfold. It'll give you that fluidity that you'll need to attack this type of progression. As with 
this type of idea, this chromatic uh, whole step, half step diminished. I hope uh, this opens a new door uh, for you guys wanting to expand your playing more into like a fusion-y type of rock playing as opposed to just a straight ahead where we're using mostly the minor scales and, and minor pentatonics, etc. It's a lot of fun and it'll really open up your ears uh, to what can be done. And, you know, just to show you, if we take something traditional like a kind of like blues type of progression even in the key of A just just to show you what how you can expand uh, just to use an example now here we have the A chord most players are going to play the A chord as such combinations of major minor pentatonics etc then we go to the four chord Side type of play, the same type of chords, watch what we can do. First chord, A. Outside, you know, lines building, 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 but just little pieces of it to throw that little interest, that little twist into your playing. So I hope this opens a new door for you, and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Here we are.